Cobb, who she's played for a very, very, very long time. Right, and you know, there's got to be at least some matchup familiarity because we have a yes. uh, slingshot coming here all the time and doing super well here at Xeno. So we'll see how Peko fares comparatively and how Dill brings her matchup knowledge into, into this match. So, and already I know we're going to be seeing a lot of items just chilling on the ground. This is hazards on mode right now <laughs> between Gyro and Banana. These are four. Oh, oh my god! Beautiful start for Pekka right there. Gain a really, really clean early stock off of Dill and himself only at about 79%. And if he can't kind of keep that momentum going, he should be pretty set. But oof, Dill doing a lot of pressure on the stage to make sure she has control of the, center, of the center stage herself. Right, and I mean, I think that's huge in this game one because as we know, Dill is usually uh, a bit of a, a slower paced player. You know, Dill likes really dragging that out and really making you work for that kill. So getting an early kill like that is huge. Also, great mix up there by Peko, not uh, jetpacking into that arm rotor. Now we're going to be seeing it. Dill looking for a kill of her own potentially right now. Peko sitting at 126, but racking up the extra credit real nice. And is, is, is this is exactly what he's going to need when Dill, if she is able oh. to take that, that first shot off of Peko anyway. And, and Peko doing an amazing job at kind of keeping control of his, of his surroundings. And also, oh, I thought he was going to come back for a second. Just for a second. But amazing, amazing extra credit on Peko's part right now. 95% on Dill and himself only at 0%. Right. I like the jab to check Peko dashing in. All right, and now we're just kind of resetting to neutral, getting our items set back up. Dill now with Banana in hand. Yeah, and Banana yeah, set up in Dill's favor, yep. All right, uh, nice forward air by Peko, calling Dill's jump out of shield. Now Dill with some advantage. I really like the use of the jab to extend right there, but Peko going to be using those jetpacks to get right back into center stage, but a back air shooting him right back out. Ooh, great banana from ledge. Yeah, missing the deer right there to punish the jetpack recovery. However, Dill, uh, this isn't, you know, we've seen Dill definitely come back from, from worse than this, and I believe she actually did go against Slingshot a few weeks ago, and this is going to have the same situation, so that's definitely a matchup check, as you were saying earlier, and wow. Uh -oh, they're coming, they're coming. Uh-oh, uh-oh, here we go. I think they're gone. I, I have no idea how long barrels last. I'm all, I always get flashbacks to like um, Project M pit arrows. I don't know if you've ever seen those, but they would pit players would shoot uh, the arrows, and they have so much more um, like flexibility in where you can, in where they go, and they have a much longer time to live. So pit players would just like circle them above the stage and then rain them from above. That's oh my! <laughs> oh uh, yeah, the down charge smash. down smash right there, gonna take the second first off from Peko, or second side from Peko. Now we're pretty much at an even game once more over on the the FD kind of setup we have going on on TNC. Tipping that deal is really good at kind of using in order to really carry her opponent right across the stage onto a ledge and killing them with uh, with arm rotor or even just uh, any kind of down down throw into up air combo. All right, good back air punishing that neutral air. Gyro off the stage, but good. Uh, Dill caught the banana. No tech off the pratfall there, but no, no locking situations at all. And yeah, now we're just right back at neutral, uh, throwing our items around, but great neutral air right there by Dill. Looking for a downer, but not finding it, and that's getting her hit again. I think that's happened multiple times yes. in this game one where Dill has mistimed a, uh, a down air to try and two frame, and she just gets uh, ledge jump forward air for it. And I'm gonna go once again. I think it's very difficult to kind of challenge the jetpack because it, 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 he can pretty much renegade where he wants to go and space it out the timing as much as he can to kind of throw Dill off, especially because you already have Dare that has a startup uh, lag up to it. So, you know, very difficult to time that Dare during order to two frame Peko, but you know, Anything right now will likely kill Peko, except for, you know, just a regular gyro. Yeah, I think even maybe a fair at ledge could do it, yes. so Peko's got to be rotor. careful right now. Yeah, an, an armor is... Oh. oh, trying for the, the gyro setup where you have gyro at ledge and then run, 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 run for the support oh, and not getting the no tech right there. No tech off the gyro. But yeah, where, what she was trying to do right there was, uh, was a gyro setup where she kind of has gyro spinning at ledge active. 
and then she rolls away to kind of uh, charge up a forest now. So you're pretty much stuck in this very sc scary situation, but he went right over her. Yeah, that was actually great by Peko to get hit by the gyro in that situation. Not that situation. Yeah, no, not that, that was one. just... <laughs> you didn't take those. We don't take those sometimes. I don't Ooh. even think, yeah, he probably was even expecting that to come right back at him. I wouldn't. And I wouldn't expect to be put in a stage tech situation. Yeah. All right. Let's... I don't take those. <laughs> I definitely don't take those. <laughs> and it looks like uh, PS2 is going to be our counter pick of choice for Peko right now. So, getting a decent amount of uh, space to set up his banana play as well as. I mean, obviously, it, it helps Rob, too, in this situation. But, Here we go. Peko maybe downloading some data. Had to, you know, just sit there for a little bit. Collect himself. And now we're going over to PS2. It means having to drop down Gyro off the platform. Yeah, and that's a cool thing about this matchup is, you know, both players are going to be so used to using items uh, between their gy the gyro and the banana. So when one character has the other's projectile, like for example, right now, Peko er, had gyro, you know, not only does Peko get to play his usual item game plan, you know, with some slight deviations, but he also prevents Dill from playing her own item game plan. All right, great movement there with the B reverse by Peko. Ooh, waited out the air dodge, but not finding anything off of it. Yeah, we got picking up banana very easily for Dill, having it now in her advantage. Where now, if if you know if Echo goes over, he's he's kind of screw like that in that forest smash. That's why I like about watching people who have different like projectiles that basically function the same uh, mechanic wise, but just uh, you know this time you, you got a little bit tripped up by your own banana and got forest smashed for it. Yeah, I mean, even in that scenario, you could argue that banana was better than Gyro because it put Peko in that like yeah. trip animation. All right, great use of the forward air to take Dill's first stock. We've seen that a couple of times so far this set, where Dill has tried to go high, which, you know, for as good as Rob is, you know, most characters can't really uh, contest that. But Diddy Kong is definitely one of those characters who has the vertical speed to get up there and really punish Dill for trying to do that. But Gain that of back punish, air right over there. Yep, that back air right over there. <laughs> But punishing Peko right over there and right there with the back air. And now that Dill has a comfortable, complete stock lead at the moment. Slowly going back up for herself, but Peko has to kind of close it out as, much, as fast as he could. Maybe with his edge having such you can't you can't challenge Dill in the air as, as as high as she goes like that. Alright, but now Dill off stage. Let's see. Alright, air dodging to ledge that time fighting her way off with the neutral air and using the laser to cover Peko trying to come down with any buttons. Peko getting into those orange percents while Dill still has a fresh stock to play around with. Oh no! I think the banana hit her and she was stuck in an animation where she couldn't come back up. I've that missed. might have happened down there. Can't see because of everything. <laughs> Because she air dodged, but I could have sworn she had plenty of space to still up Yeah, that's what there. I was thinking. But it's all right. She's, like you said, first new stock to play with. Peko has to do a lot, uh, a lot of catching up to do, but this might not be it because that up air will definitely take it. Yep, up tilt into up air. So, you know, absolutely, you know, great on Dill right there for keeping her composure, especially after how game one started. And, you know, that's something we see from Dill so often is that consistency. Rob's lifeless eyes. <laughs> Cold. He's Cold he, killer. The only time his eyes do anything is with arm rotor. He, he, he apparently comes like really angry. All right. Oh no, that wasn't the, the stock I was thinking of. So I want to see what happened when Dill just like sank to the depths. I think it's the next stock right here, second stock. Yeah. So right here is trying to recover. Oh, thank you. She air dodged. What? <laughs> Same. <laughs> no, we're, we're all like, like what? Like I, all I saw was Rob like flipping, and yeah. I was like, <laughs> I thought maybe just banana had hit her, but I, I, it was going down I at the same time, and then it, was... it just like. <laughs> <laughs> 